Okay, so I'm excited to talk to you guys today about the Kangatech Go Personal Carrier. Uh, this is a really cool product. Um, if you watch my YouTube videos, you know I'm a huge fan of bags, man bags, purses, man purses, backpacks. Um, and this is uh, kind of an interesting product. It's kind of a hybrid between a bag and uh, an accessory almost. Um, you know, it's not quite a full-size bag, but at the same time, you know, it's not, uh, you know, it's not quite an accessory either. Um, Obviously, it's not like a uh, messenger bag like this here. Uh, this is basically a sling or a bandolier. It's meant to be worn across your chest. As far as uh, who Kangatech advertises this product is for, uh, they advertise it for active people. You know, if you're into running, hiking, biking, this is an excellent product for you. A lot of times when you're being active, your you know, clothes, whether it's, you know, mesh basketball shorts or windbreakers, whatever, don't have great pockets in them. So here's a way of having all your things with you, you know, MP3 player, headphones, water bottle, maybe wallet. I'll have all these things with you. Easy access. This fits across your chest so you can be active while wearing it. You know, it's not going to weigh you down like a bag or a backpack. I've seen some YouTube videos where like some stunt man is doing flips and things while wearing this. Uh, so it's not going to, it's not cumbersome. It's not going to tie you down when you're being active. Uh, but in addition to being active, this could just be an everyday carrier. You know, maybe you commute to the city, uh, take the train, this, that, and the other. If you like having your train tickets handy, your headphones, uh, water bottle, you know, maybe a granola bar, you got all this stuff in front of you. Um, if you're traveling, this could make a great bag for travel, you know, keep your passport, um, you know, ready at hand, uh, you know, maybe keep some granola bars or things like that, boarding passes, you know, carry all that stuff in here. Uh, like I said, this is an interesting product because it's not a bag, but it's not all an accessory, it kind of fits somewhere in the middle. Um, but we're going to be talking a little bit about the product, showing you some different specs of the product. It's made of neoprene. Um, I originally found this on Amazon and just had to get it. Um, there's a couple other uh, competitors to this. One's called the Runner, the R-U-N-N-U-R, -N -N and that one's kind of built as for active people and things like that. The pockets are a little bit of a tighter fit, um, more of a uh, what kind of look, more of a tactical look to it. Um, another product is the Crosspack, C-R-O-S-S-P-A-Q. Uh, that's the product I actually really wanted, but it was about 45 bucks. Uh, so I saw this. I was able to pick up the black models going for $22 on Amazon right now. Um, if you want, like, the uh, burnt orange or any of the other colors, yeah, I think it's going to run you more like $39. Uh, but, you know, let's get into it and start looking at some of the features and talking about this thing. Um, it fits comfortable across the body. Uh, one of the nice things, it can be worn either across the right side of your body or across the left side of your body. So if you're left-handed or right-handed, this bag will work for you. Uh, this top pocket here is kind of cool. This is for uh, cell phones. I'll uh, measure the entirety of the pocket for you, which is going to be about six and a quarter inches or so. However, as far as actual usable space, obviously, you know, you got stitches at the top part, stitches at the bottom part. If you can see here on the side, you know, the top half inch is uh, taken up by the zipper closure. We got a zipper on the bottom. Um, so when it actually comes to being able to fit a cell phone in here, it's not as big a fit as it looks. Um, I'm actually filming this video with my HTC Evo, so I obviously can't show you me putting the Evo in here. However, I cut out a piece of uh, paper roughly about the same size, or not roughly, exactly the same size as my phone, and we'll kind of show you um, as we try to put this into here. Also, this will kind of show you the inside of the pockets, but um, you can see here, like I'm having to... With the phone, it's a sturdier object, so it goes in easier. But you can, as you can see here, it's a pretty tight fit getting my phone into there. It, it will get in there, and it will fit. And heck, some people may even say it's good having a tight fit because you don't want it rattling around when you're running or something like that. Uh, one of the cool features it has is the grommet on uh, both sides, actually, where your headphones can come out. So you can have your headphones out, listen to your headphones while your phone is protected in there. Uh, another nice thing about this neoprene material, it's, it's naturally padded. Um, so, you know, if you drop this or something like that, your devices have some padding. It's also uh, not waterproof or water resistant. Uh, my problem with the cell phone pocket being the size it is, so, um, you know, obviously my cell phone's a tight fit in this top pocket to begin with. Once you add a, uh, you know, cell phone, uh, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top, it's really crunched in there. Your headphones are going to wind up getting uh, bent and probably uh, the wires are probably going to fray and break after a while. Um, so I wish that pocket were a little bit bigger. Another reason for that, a lot of these new cell phones, like the Samsung S3 or the uh, the Samsung Note, which is that new Le LeBron James phone that's almost like a little mini tablet, those phones are going to be too big for this pocket, I'm thinking. The Evo is a pretty tight fit. I think anything bigger than an Evo, I think you're going to have trouble fitting. Uh, this next pocket down, uh, let's see, we'll get a little bit of measurement here for you. Uh, like I said, you know, it's going to be about, I would say about uh, five and a half inches by four inches. Again, it's not all usable space, just the way that it lays out. 
But uh, this pocket, what I think is good for is uh, it's good for a wallet or a money clip. Um, I wouldn't complain about this second pocket. Um, I just recently switched over to a money clip, but before that I had a, uh, a bifold wallet, which is a little bit thicker. Because of how narrow this uh, pocket is, I think you may have, like unless you have a pretty slim bifold wallet, you may have trouble getting a bifold wallet to fit into that pocket. Um, a trifold wallet, as long as it's not overly stuffed, would fit easily. Uh, but you know, if you're going to buy a, a bifold wallet, if you have a bifold wallet and you want to keep it in this pocket, I, I'd say before buying this product, check and make sure it fits in there. Um, we got adjustable straps here, so you can make it tighter to your body or looser to your body. And let me uh, open up some of these big pockets here. These big pockets uh, fit quite a bit of stuff. Um, you know, I got like an MP3 player, some Kleenex, uh, some receipts, um, headphones, some Visine, um, you know, a USB stick. I had a number of items in here. Uh, they fit pretty easily. Like I said, this would fit a water bottle if you wanted it to. One of my complaints and one of the things I wish this product did that I think the cross stack did, um, a lot of times, you know, I grab my mail out of the mailbox in the morning and bring it in to work with me to pay my bills or do whatever else. It would be nice if this fit like your normal, I don't even know what the size of an envelope is, what is it, like three by three by nine or something like that, whatever the size of a four by nine, whatever the size of a traditional envelope is, it would be nice if it could fit an envelope with me. Uh, let me show you. Here's a standard size envelope, and I guess because of the curve, I see you don't get a curve, but basically it's, an envelope's going to be too wide and probably a little bit too long with the corners to fit into here. I, I kind of wish I could throw, throw my mail or throw some documents uh, into these pockets, and you really can't do so without really bending them up a lot. Um, so that's one other downside to this. Um, let's see here. Let me open up the last pocket for you, this bottom pocket. Yeah, I got a notepad, um, cell phone charger. Um, kind of cool. I got a uh, tactical flashlight the other day from Amazon as well. This was like a $6 flashlight. I did a review on that one. It's one of the Cree flashlights. I definitely recommend you check that out. That's a cool product. I give that flashlight like 10 out of 10 stars. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to zip this back up. Um, overall, I'm very happy with this bag. It was a cool pickup for $22. You can't really go wrong. Um, if I were to make any improvements on it, um, I would make this top cell phone pocket a little bit larger. Um, I would make the wallet pocket possibly a little bit wider. Um, I would personally probably also make uh, one of these bottom pockets big enough to fit in like a 4x9 four by, four by envelope. Um, you know the other thing too, um, in some ways I like how there's two large pockets but at the same time like, okay the bottom one's for a water bottle, we need one large pocket. But like this one here, how many people have like one large item that needs to fit in here? I think personally I would rather have this broken up into two or three smaller pockets uh, because basically, I got, like I said, I got a bunch of stuff in here. I got an MP3 player, I got cigarettes, I got a cell phone charger, I got Kleenex, and basically everything's just going to shuffle around in here. And obviously it's not like a huge bag, it's not like things are going to be flying all over the place, but it'd just be uh, a little bit more organized if everything was broken up into a couple different pockets there. Um, the only other things I wish for, I wish there was some type of out, outer you know, almost like a, like an ID pocket type thing where it's not zipper closed or Velcro, actually Velcro, maybe like a Velcro closed pocket on the outside just for easier access and under the zipper might be nice. Even if there were like an unsecured pocket here, just, you know, maybe I'm standing in line at Starbucks, I got to take out my credit card real quick to pay, rather than going in these pockets, just slide it into like an ID sleeve right here. Uh, maybe like a, a little loop to where you could, uh, you know, tuck a pen into would be nice. Um, on this cross pack model that I was talking about, they actually have uh, some some like ID pockets and some un, uh, unsecured pockets on the inside, and uh, I thought that was kind of neat because as you're wearing it on your chest, you can flip it up and get some things out of the inside and have them more secure, uh, but then also have all your pockets to use and things like that. Um, lastly, I'm going to. Uh, Just kind of show you guys how the bag hangs on you when you're wearing it. So here you go, you can see this is kind of how it hangs on you. Uh, most of the bulk is going to be on your side here, although, you know, if this pocket's heavier, you can swing it this way. If this pocket's heavier, you can swing it this way. One of the things I like, you can hop in the car wearing this, unlike, you know, a man purse or a messenger bag where you got to take it off before you get in the car. 
Oh, if you do hop in the car, just kind of swing it to the left a little bit so this is on your side instead of your back. But if I put it back in a regular position again, you can kind of see. Uh, let's see how the thing fits. But overall, I'm really happy with this. Uh, with this bag, I think it fits an interesting uh, niche. Like I said, it's not not quite a bag, but not quite an accessory, somewhere in between. Uh, it's handy for traveling, handy for uh, running, handy for, uh, you know, hiking, biking, uh, being active. And it's just kind of a different uh, different type of bag. You know, I haven't seen a lot of stuff like this. There's probably only three similar bags of this on the market. So I thought it was interesting, thought I should pick it up. Um, what do you guys think? Leave a, leave a video response or leave a comment. Do you have this bag? What do you think? And also, if you have the cross pack or the runner, I'd be interested to hear what you think of those as well. So, uh, like I said, leave a comment, make a video response, and if you like my videos, please subscribe.